Good afternoon and welcome to All Things Leslie. I just received a box that I want to go over with you from Scrapbooking Made Simple. Now, let me give you a little history behind this first. I'm going to try to keep it real quick. Um, I started crafting about maybe two years ago. And when I got like maybe a year into it, you know, I decided I wanted some more supplies. I like this and whatever have you, blah, blah, blah. So I saw this sale, Scrapbooking Made Simple. Um, had a sale and what it was called, it was, um, uh, ship, ship when it ships. That's what it was. Ship when it ships. So that means you got it when it ships. So, all right. I placed this order July 24th of 2020. So I was still, like I said, fairly new and... I didn't understand that. I was like, ship when it ships. So I said, okay, well, it's July. I should have this stuff by, at least by Christmas. Well, people, I got the box in yesterday. And what is this? May, I think today is May 14th. So I think I got it May 13th. Something like that. But it's May of 2021. And I ordered it in um, August. But I just did want, I did want y'all to see what I got. I ordered about a hundred dollars worth of stuff and so this here is a die I'm I, I don't know if I could open it because I did really get a lot of stuff in this box but this is simply uh, refined and this says here our family ties together is our favorite place so this is a die and this die has, let me see here, one, two, three, three dies in this package. Does it say that one here? Oh, I'm sorry. It says seven dies. Like I said, I'm still fairly new. But it says seven dies, so I got to figure out what those seven dies are because I'm not certain. But that was one. Please excuse my desk because I was working on Mother's Day and then I found myself uh, going into Father's Day. And it's, um, it's, it's a lot. Boy. So this one is a five by seven, uh, die by first edition craft. And it says, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And this goes this way. This is what the die looks like. And this goes this way. And it comes also comes with a magnetic sheet. It says free magnetic sheet. I guess, I don't know if you can see the detail of the die better this way here. And this was one piece. Now this again, this is from Scrapbooking Made Simple. And the, it was called, the sale was called, It Ships When It Ships. And they didn't lie there. This is also five by seven, this die. A lot of intricate uh, cutting in the die. Um, at that point, when I ordered this die, I didn't realize this is what it looked like. Um, if I had gotten it then, I think I would have been overwhelmed by it. But now that I've been doing crafting about two years, um, when I look at it, I'm, I'm like, oh, okay. This is nice. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. This is also a five by seven, and this came with a free magnetic sheet. Uh, let's see here. This here is um, some Sizzix Infemera. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but my favorite color is blue. And there are one, two, three, four, five different ones in there. And I'm telling you something. Nothing in this, I can't remember exactly what the prices are on anything in here, but nothing in this box was over $5. So it could have gone from anywhere from $0.25 cents to $5. But um, I just picked up a whole bunch of stuff that I thought that I might be interested in. And now that I'm looking at it, a lot of these things here I saw... As I was crafting and I'd be like, okay, not right now. 
that might be out of my budget range. Okay, this says DIY Cuts. This is from Kaiser Craft. It's a decorative die. Uh, they're shown in their actual sizes, and there's five pieces. I Now, I find myself liking this. Um, I think Tim Holtz has something similar to this, but Tim Holtz really right now is out of my price range unless I see something really, really on sale. But um, I like this, uh, and I'm going to find something to do with it, maybe on my Father's Day cards. Okay. I don't want to take too long because I only got 40 minutes on this video. And here, this says Jewel Crown. This is a stencil. Yes, and um, looking at it, I'm still fairly new. I hope y'all can see it. I don't know what to do with this. So if anybody's watching the video, um, let me know. I think this is plastic. It's a double detailed stencil. This is from Tonics, uh, and it's called yeah, uh, Jeweled Crown Double Detail Stencil. And no, I, I don't know what to do with it, really. Okay, this stencil, I have more of an idea. I'm loving this. This is beautiful. This is from uh, Intricate. No, it says Intricate Designs for a Professional Finish. This is by... Kaiser Craft, Kaiser Craft, K A I S E R uh, C R A F T, Kaiser Craft, and this is a stencil. I don't know if I said that, and um, I think this is beautiful. I can't wait to use it. Actually, this one is from Spellbinders. And uh, this is three pieces. This is called Filigree Veil. If I'm not mistaken, I might have already reordered this, not realizing that I ordered this that July. Because honestly, it, it was so long. That, and when I didn't get the box in December, I said to myself, well, maybe I didn't press the button right. <laughs> I said, I don't think I'm getting that stuff. So... Let me just go on and, you know, like, about my business as if I didn't. And I've ordered, as you can see behind me, there are boxes. I don't know if y'all can see that because I was trying to zero in on this box. But there's boxes behind me. There's a whole bunch of papers on the side of me and different things like that. Now, in this, this here consists of 11 dies. And here you see a stocking. And this decoration for the stocking. Um, I don't know if this is a candy popper or what. But um, that's there. And it has several designs for that. This is for the... I think I, did, I ordered a lot of stuff thinking about Christmas. Because it was July. And I figured by the time I get the box to say ship when it ships. That I would have it in December. So a lot of the stuff I picked up were... I kept in mind Christmas here I have a Christmas tree did I say the last one was the last one here this one I did this is first edition craft first edition craft and this was 11 pieces called cracker and stocking die so yeah I wanted to hey I wanted some cards with just stockings all over it. I love stockings. You should see on Christmas time I have more stockings than I have people in my house. Um, this one here is a Christmas tree, and this one has nine dies. So this is the tree, the decoration, the cut out. Let me see here. Inside here, separate cut out. Then there's decoration over here. I guess that's to decorate the tree, the top of the tree. It's really nice, simply defined. Again, a lot of intricate um, cutting, um, but I think I have enough tools for it now. This says Transformation Christmas Wishes. Simply refined. Here, I got some Sizzik Bright Ones, it's called. Um, this is 
paper. Uh, let me see, is there anything special about this paper? Other than it's small, I think it has, I, I would say this is comparable to um, Crafters Companions, um, which, what you call that paper? You know, it kind of has a shiny something to it. It'll look like a glossy or something, but it comes in five different colors. Uh, pearlescent, that's the word. Pearlescent. So this looks like a raspberry. Mm, a mint green. And it's pearlescent on both sides, too. That's the mint green. This is the black. This is the cream. And this is a peach pearlescent. These are six by six. Uh, which is a very popular size, six by six. Um, I'm going to try, I don't know if I said before. <laughs> yeah, I started working on it. If I still have a, a little bit of video time left on, on it. I'll show you what I started working on. I started working on my very first um, album. And no, I didn't use this 6x6. Six six. And actually, I didn't even use expensive paper. The paper is pretty, but it wasn't expensive. I actually found it in the clearance. I'm just going to leave it like that. I found it in the clearance section at um, Michael's. Now here... This here is some um, release paper, adhesive sheets, permanent, what is permanent? Hmm, double-sided, no, no, this is adhesive sheets, I just read it, adhesive sheets, and what, what, what am I, what's the matter with me? Okay, adhesive sheets, but these are little, really little, um, two and a half by four and three quarters, I mean, I have an idea what I could do with this because I do have some, oh, happen to be right over here in this corner, some foil that I got from Diamond Press. But, um, yeah, this is some adhesive. This is permanent from uh, Sizzix. So, I don't know what I'm doing with that. Uh, bottle. I have trouble with my hands with those large glue bottles, so... Uh, I've been trying out several different types of bottles. This here, when I saw this here, this is from um, Fun Stampers Journey. It's one stamp. This is the, I peeked in it. Because <laughs> as you notice, I opened up the box. Because whenever you see my thing, I'm, I'm tackling it. But look at this. Look at that stamp. I think this is gorgeous. Um, I will, when I, I want to do a card with this. Because that's basically what I do now, cards. And I want to use this for a background. I just want to stamp all the whole card, you know, try to keep it, I don't know, if I'm on a uniform way or whatever. Um, I might even foil it. I don't know. But I'm start off simple. I probably start off simple with just stamping it and then move into um, foiling. But I think this is gorgeous. Just beautiful. Uh, this here is a pocket watch. Little okay. cap. This is die cutting. So this might I might be using this soon for Father's Day. I have to do a video one day with um actually doing work. Because I do work if you can see any of my desk here, I do I do a lot of work here. This here is Jane Davenport. This is some faces. It says Mitch and Match Mel Mellinger. It's all oh, this is look like French. But it's clear stamps. And these are the ladies' heads. This looks like a fingerprint to me. Oh, either this is the fin a fingerprint or it's the back of somebody's head. Either one. But the back of somebody's head probably makes more sense since all the rest of these are faces. But this is Jane Davenport. Yep. Okay. This one here, I know I have because I did a card in this. And um, I'll probably give this one away. I don't need two of the exact same bottles. But it was also, it was tonics. And I did like it. Now, uh, this one here, I've 
always wanted a window. Oh, there's a couple here. This one's I've always wanted a window. So um, I was happy to see this here. It's kind of small. This is um, Inspire by Spellbinders. It's called Nature's Window. Okay. It's, and this is what the die actually looks like in the package. Okay. Has anyone here gone to a ship when it shipped sale before? Because I, I know there was a lot of people because I was, I had to grab stuff up. I mean, even though it was online, I felt like I was at a, a rummage sale. And a lot of the stuff was sold out already. But this here is a pair of um, sneakers. And, you know, uh, sometimes when you pass by on the road, if you have those lamp posts, you'll see sneakers. Somebody took their sneakers and just threw them up there and it swung around the, the wire. Well, yeah, that's what these look like here, these sneakers. I figured that was for an interesting make. Okay. And this one here, oh my goodness, I'm just in love with. This was also inspired by um, Spellbinders. It's called Caged. But look at that picture. It's a dress. And here is the bird cage is inside the dress. This is gorgeous. I'm, hope, I'm hoping I'm angling this right so y'all can see it. Um, yeah. I hope everything was else was angled because I can't see. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'm almost at the end. I am almost at the end. Oh, okay. I have another dress here. It's a different type of dress. Can y'all see it? It's a different type of dress. It's a lot of fussy cutting. No, I'm sorry. Not fussy cutting. Um, you would have to do... I guess brushing. I don't know how easy these come out, but I'll I'll gradually get to them. This is by Ultimate Crafts Universal Impression Dies. This says three in one. So I see I see the dress. Uh, I don't see any what else I'm supposed to see. It says off the rack decoupage set. Uh, works with leading embossing and die cutting machines. So, no, I'm not exactly certain what the three are, but I do, I do like the one that I do see. Oh, look, I have a window. Yeah, plain, a plain window. Oh, this is like, really, to me, fascinating. Plain window. This is the window. Window die, because I don't have any window dies except for that one I just showed you. In the leaf which I thought was really pretty and um this is by ultimate crafts also this says three in one die again I don't see what the three is unless that window opens I really don't see what the three is okay and these here uh this is by ultimate crafts this is a paisley design. Okay, and it says it says two pieces, and that's what I see. Two pieces. Can you see it? I hope I'm doing this all right. Okay, and this one is also by Ultimate Crafts, and this is a teardrop. Beautiful. Beautiful. Tears are not supposed to be that pretty, but this is gorgeous. Let me show you the back. Inside the package. All right. One day, maybe we'll just sit here and we'll get a piece of paper and just cut out a couple of these dies. No real rhyme or reason. Just, just cut them out. <laughs> okay, this is the paper I thought I had picked up before. Because I know I had ordered release paper. Um, I think I know what I'm supposed to be doing with this. I've never seen anybody actually use it, but I did a puzzle die in my Gemini, and I got the puzzle machine, and when I put the picture on, on here, 
I glued it. First I put paper on it and then I glued the picture on it. And I didn't let the glue dry well enough. And so glue got on my dye and it was sticking. So I used um, wax paper because I didn't have release paper. So that's why I'm, I'm assuming that's what it's good for to make the dye come apart from it. So I used wax paper. But it's, it's nice sometimes to use a professional item. Okay, this is also by Inspire. And I've seen um, something similar, similar to this in the Happy Planner. So... I didn't realize then that I ordered it, but I think I saw something else in Tonic Studios with the bunny rabbits. I don't know. I know I have a, like a caravan or uh, what's that? One of those things you, you live in. Oh my goodness. I, my mind. Uh, but okay. I got a bike now. This is two pieces. So I guess those hearts, what it look like, balloons or something come with it. And who could manage crafting without a pair of cowboy boots? This is also inspired by Spellbinders. It says two dies. I wonder if this is two separate boots. Because I did get a uh, boot from, um... oh, yes, look. <laughs> it's two separate boots. See? Okay, that's cute. Now I just got to find a place to put all that stuff. And if you got boots, you got to have the cowgirl hat or the cowboy hat, what either one, depending on what color you're doing. And this is one piece, one piece. I'm sure these pieces here um, were really expensive. Because I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with a cowboy girl hat and boots. But I'm going to figure out something. It's going to be on something. But uh, they had to be very inexpensive. Those are probably the ones I paid a quarter for. And this one here, Spellbinders, Delights, Corners, and Accents. You always need some corners and accents. Yes, you do. Yes. So, um, I think. I think that's it for today. That was it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I received 29 items from um, Scrapbooking Made Simple. I spent just under $100, and $9 of it was shipping and handling. I think it was two days shipping and handling. So, um, I think I did pretty good. I did, I think I did pretty good. Um, a lot of these dyes here I've seen on scrapbooking made simple. And I'm going to go back to some of her tutorials and see what she did with them um some of these that i have duplicates of like this bottle actually in this set i believe this here i definitely know i have a, this is a duplicate and i have the um what you call it the other thing from um spellbinders that's what this here i believe this is a duplicate so i'm gonna go back and look and I know I have some other tonic dyes that are duplicates that were in the mystery bag. So um, I'm going to try to put something together and give those away. Because, um, yeah, there's no sense holding on to something I have two of. I'm, and these dyes are pretty uh, stable. I think that's what you call it. I think they're pretty stable where 
they're not breaking unless you standing on them. Yeah. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for spending this day with me and looking at what I received in my scrapbook made simple. Would I order from um what is this? What did I say this was? <laughs> I'm telling you, oh boy. Because I'm thinking about so many things at one time. Because I need to move out of this space. This space is just, this desk is just getting too small. I need, this is really for my sewing machine. Uh, so, that's another day. But uh, would I order from this sale again? Yes. Yes, I would. I would definitely order from this sale again. But now I know what to expect. Um, ship when it ships is exactly what it says. If you are a complete newbie, you might want to have a few other things on um, hand and not sit around and wait because I was, sit was sitting around and waiting on this. And then in December, I was like, oh, I can't, I can't wait for this anymore. And then I kind of forgot about it. And then when I got an email and it said it was being shipped, I was like, what's, what's being shipped? I didn't even realize what it was because it was so long ago. So, um... Here it is. Here it is. Um, Actually, I have another box, but I was kind of excited. I wanted to give you all this experience of what it meant, ship when it ships. So if you're a newbie and it says ship when it ships, uh, don't get impatient. It will be shipped. <laughs> Just not right then. So, but I'm glad uh, um, a lot of this stuff is still stuff I could use. So... Uh, that I think that's it. That's all I wanted to inform you of, and um, I'm I'm delighted with my new toys. And either I will do something online, or I mean, you know, on YouTube, or I'll uh get um show you the finished product. I have quite a few finished products that I do want to share with you, but not on this video. <laughs> okay, thanks again, and uh, hope to see you soon. Um, if you have any comments, please make them good or bad. What do you think about Ship When It Ships? Did you have any experiences with Ship When It Ships? Let me know. Okay? Thank you. Bye.